this is Charlotte from Hayden Charlotte 434 and today I'm going to be doing a charm update the charms I've done over the weekend and well I'll start with the I'll start now and here's this little scrap clay blended piece thingy whatever um I made this out of because I was so bored and I had two colors of clay that really looked good together so I thought, hey, why not make something like this? And then I have this little pencil. It's not painted or glazed yet. It could be a charm. It's not my best, but, I mean, it's a start. <laughs> and now these, this is a Hello Kitty cupcake inspired by Pudding Fish Cakes. And she did a charm update, and I decided I would try. Hers looks a little bit better than mine, because the cupcake, I mean, it's bigger than the icing. It looks a little bit weird, but let's freaking try. And then I made this Choco Cat cupcake. Also inspired by jelly, I mean, pudding fish cakes. And I made this, I don't know if I made this. I don't know when I made this, but I haven't showed it. I made this Plants vs. Zombies pen. It's not my best because it's all messy. I made it because I was running out of time. It was like 9 o'clock at night before I finished it. Before I was out of the oven. And, yeah. This is inspired by I Have a Cupcake and Heart and Dory. Um, and now, I've got this Three Peas in a Pod necklace. I don't remember who made this but I remember that Baxter Mooch did a tutorial I mean not a tutorial she showed this in one of her charm updates but she said it was inspired by someone else so and then my favorite I'm shaving for last it's like my per it's like perfect and now oops and then I made this Pikachu charm I don't remember who made it at first, but I did her. I watched her tutorial. It's favorited on. I favorited, liked it on my on YouTube. So it's there somewhere if you want to see it. And my absolutely most favorite charm I've made so far this weekend is this Jigglypuff charm. It turned out perfect except for that little red dot right there that was from this pain them both at the same time got a little bit on the bottom but that's all that's really bad about it everything else is perfect it's definitely my favorite charm it's totally adorable and this is also inspired by pudding fish fish cakes so yeah well um, I'm going to show a few of my past charms that I haven't really shown my favorites. Some of my favorites. Alright. I've got some. So, this one's Neon Cat. Inspired by I Have a Cupcake. She did a tutorial. A crayon box. Inspired by Clay Creates something. Some, someone, Clay Creates sent someone a package. And shows this one in there. thought it was adorable. A cubed orange. Super awesomely cute. Except for the bottom. Yeah, when I was glazing it, I had some glaze on the place where I was glazing. So stuck to it and I had to rip it off and the paper got stuck and another one is this Mickey Mouse charm it turned out pretty well there's no really there's nothing there's not really any little specks except for right there that's pretty much it and the, this button there's one right here but it's really hard to see on camera yeah well that those are my charms for a while and pin I guess and really extras and stay tuned for a little while 
I just made, I just uploaded a um, tutorial or like Animal Jam thing. That it shows what's at the top of the Sky High game in Coral Canyons. It's really awesome. I've gotten like four gifts from that. So, yeah, and I'm going to film in a little while a Rochelle, no, not Rochelle Goyle, a Rebecca Steam doll review. So, yeah, that's it for, that's it for today. Bye-bye, see you later.